Hi engineering janta I am Vaibhav Shukla and today we are going to learn about bubble sort this is another video in the free dsc series that we are building for you so that you thrive high in your career before i dive deep into bubble sort go ahead do the daily ritual follow us on various social media handles so that you never miss a hiring update also top 3 comments today get prep insta prime for free so get that golden chance and go ahead comment below this video now coming to what is bubble sort in this playlist i have taught sorting before this video so if you're somebody who doesn't know what sorting is go ahead watch it out fine i have told enough about arrays so here i'll straight away take an example of array fine consider that you have an unsorted array which is 10 9 then 7 then 20 and then uh say uh, i would say 5 let's take this element this is properly unsorted array no sorting at all right now we apply bubble sort to this how do we apply bubble sort to this it is a very simple algorithm let me tell you consider first element as a second element as b okay a and b check for the condition if a is greater than b then swap their places if a is smaller than b do nothing okay do nothing eat five star kabhi kuch na karke dekho theek hai but filhal when you are trying and checking these elements you check for first two elements then you move ahead check for these two elements then you move ahead check for these two elements then you move ahead in this fashion you go on okay and once you complete it then again second round you keep on repeating until the array is sorted itna hi hai isse zyada kuch nahi hai bubble sort mein itni aasan hai algorithm mein now see round 1 or parse 1 it is also called as parse 1 basically when you are running it for the first time that is called as round 1 or parse 1 fine why is it important i'll tell you wait now see i check for the first two elements a 10 b is 9 10 is greater than 9 so that is satisfied swap i swap their places right i swap their places now i go ahead check for 10 and 7 10 is greater than 7 again swap 9 7 10 25 now see 10 is not greater than 20 right 10 is smaller than 20 5 star khao kuch mat karo do nothing as it is go ahead go further 20 and 5 if you check them 20 is actually greater than 5 see right so swap happens here now you swap them when you swap them what you get is something like this and here the first round or the first parse ends now when you end this parse what you get is this particular portion this is sorted basically every parse will give the number it has according to that the largest value and it will sort it out basically what i am saying is round 1 will give you the first largest or the maximum value at the end of the array fine so you get it at the end of the array 20 is the largest value you can check it is at the end of the array you consider this portion as the sorted portion fine and this is unsorted portion now what you do here is you go through and do the round 2 here or the parse 2 fine now i'll represent the unsorted array with yellow and the sorted array with orange color fine so this was the unsorted array that you have and the sorted one lies here right this portion is sorted now see you run bubble sort on this portion only on the unsorted portion you run bubble sort again 9 greater than 7 true change them swap their positions so basically what you have is 7 9 10 5 
and this 20 remains here right the sorted portion of 20 remains now check again 9 and 10 9 is smaller than 10 right do nothing 10 and 5 10 is greater than 5 swap is needed here you swap them right and now what you get is this array right now if you carefully see the round 2 is over because this was sorted we had to run till these two right you have ran this algorithm and you have reached at this conclusion now 10 also is at its correct place in the algorithm in this algorithm run we got the correct place of 10 as well so now it is a sorted element now this portion is sorted and if you carefully see round 2 gives you second largest element at its correct place now just see the second largest element is at its correct place now this much is unsorted what I do is I go ahead with round 3 right in round 3 I check for these three elements rest two are sorted now the rest two elements are sorted right so while I check them seven and nine that is fine there is no change needed because seven is smaller than nine do nothing then if you check nine and five they satisfy this condition nine is greater than five right so you change them out you swap them and what you get is this right now this 9 reaches its correct place round 3 third largest element reaches its correct place this portion is sorted you go to round 4 in round 4 this much portion is sorted you just need to check these two basically you just need to check 7 and 5 rest portion is sorted isn't it what you do is you check for 7 and 5 they satisfy this condition 7 greater than 5 you swap you get 5 you get 7 and then you get this particular portion where you have your sorted elements right now this whole array is sorted right and in four rounds basically you could sort your complete array this is bubble sort as simple as that bubble sort simple hai a greater than b to swap kar do if a smaller than b do nothing as simple as that and keep on repeating this step until you get a sorted array as simple as that itna hi hai bubble sort mein nothing much simple now this is the coding part right this is the implementation portion of what I just showed you fine so consider the same array 10 9 7 20 and 5 right this was our unsorted array now what you do is you have these indices here 0 1 2 3 and 4 basically these are 5 elements right so indices will be from 0 to 4 if you're somebody who doesn't know how these indices came then you can watch the array video okay that I have uploaded in this playlist now what you do is you pass this particular array in this function in the sort function fine you pass this array here and you have five elements so here you pass the number of elements which is five fine what you do here is you have a loop which runs from i equals to 1 to i less than n which basically means i points at this location index 1 right i points at this location and i will go from 1 to a value which is less than 5 which is just less than 5 which basically means till 4 this will run from 1 to 4 when you come to j j is pointing to the index 0 fine and j will run till this particular portion which is n minus i if you 
carefully see what is n minus i i is pointing to 1 i is pointing to 1 n is 5 right n is 5 n minus i is equal to 5 minus 1 which is equals to 4 so the condition becomes j less than 4 which means j will run till here till the index 3 right so when you start running these two loops what you check is array of j is array of j greater than array of j plus 1 which basically means here array of j is 0 array of j plus 1 is where i lies right so here you check this first element and then the second element same as we did in round 1 just see you check 10 9 7 25 this is the array you start checking the value of j and j plus 1 which is this particular value j plus 1 right you start comparing them array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 this is true here why so because 10 greater than 9 right so this becomes true here isn't it when it is true what are we doing basically we are doing swapping this is basic swap function what you do is you store the value of this particular array of j value in a temporary variable which is temp here then what you do is you store the value of j plus 1 which is 9 in the array of j and then array of j plus 1 becomes the value that you have in the temporary variable fine so basically this means that you are swapping these two values fine so once you swap them what does it become 9 10 7 20 and 5 right now carefully see what happens j is incremented this loop isn't over yet now j is incremented now j is pointing here okay j was earlier 0 now after the increment j becomes 1 once the j becomes 1 it starts pointing at this particular location because the indices were 0 1 2 3 and 4 so j is pointing here j plus 1 is 7 10 is actually greater than 7 array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 10 greater than 7 this is fulfilled again you swap fine 9 7 10 20 5 and the indices are 0 1 2 3 and 4 now j was 1 j is again incremented j becomes 2 for j equals to 2 when j is pointing here j plus 1 becomes this particular portion right now 10 is greater than 20 is that true now is this particular condition this particular condition is this particular condition true now no it's not this condition is not true so when it is not true what you do is you cannot execute this block so it will do nothing and j will get incremented this will again execute and j becomes 3 now j moves ahead now j has become 3 so j is pointing here right and j plus 1 is here now right now 20 is greater than 5 which is array of j is greater than array of j plus 1 now the swap executes now the swap happens and what you basically get is 9 7 10 5 and 20 this is the first round basically first time this has run completely now i gets incremented i starts pointing here i becomes 2 i equals to 2 so it starts pointing out here when it starts pointing out here j again starts right j again starts but j will start this time from 0 to this particular portion only it will check till 3 only this becomes sorted okay this particular area is sorted now it will not be considered in the second round why so j the condition for j is j less than n minus i so this time i is 2 it is incremented now so 4 minus 2 
becomes 2 right so this time when you start checking j will go till this value only fine j is going to run till this value only so that when you run till j plus 1 you have this value at your disposal while checking so this is how the code of bubble sort works fine but this is not a very good approach this is not a very good approach this approach has basically two loops and if you have watched my time complexity videos how to calculate the time complexity for two loops nested loops then you would understand that this particular approach has order of n square time complexity and this time complexity is not good for our purpose as simple as that this is never considered a good time complexity so in the next part i'll teach you how to optimize this algorithm a very small step will optimize and will make this particular time complexity to order of n we'll try and do that i guess order of n is tilted a lot so i'll write it in a way that you understand order of n we'll try doing this we'll try and optimize this algorithm only this code only so that we get a particular time complexity of order of n fine so that's all for today's video and don't forget to follow us on various social media handles and go ahead comment below this video so that you get your prep insta prime subscription for free if you are in top three comments follow us on various social media handles so that you never miss any update related to your hiring remember whatever you have learnt go ahead spread it to people okay keep on doing good good will come back to you okay